Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? Come on in. Happy Wednesday to you. You already know what I'm doing. I am sharing this video out to my group. Shout out to my amazing group, Women Stepping Into Their Greatness. So come on in, tell me hi, let me know where you are watching from. Come on in the room. This is Freedom Week. I am setting you guys free from self-doubt. This is a good week to be talking about freedom. As we know, uh, tomorrow is 4th of July. So it is a good it's a good week. It's a good day to be talking about freedom and why you need to be free from your self-doubt. Give me just a second. I'm still sharing it out. We are doing a 31-day journey to stepping into your greatness. Excited about that. We're going to be talking about greatness uh, this entire month. If, been, if you have been following me, you have been seeing me post on my page, reminding you guys that you guys are great, that I see the greatness in you. And so I hope that you guys are taking that in. Right? I'm still sharing it out. While I'm sharing it out, I want to say hey to my replay viewers. How are you guys? Make sure you put in hashtag replay and shout out, and I will respond back to you. All to all of my live viewers, what's up? So what I was saying, this is day three. We are doing a preview. Uh, stepping into your greatness 31 days 31 days of declarations for your journey to greatness we are using my ebook uh, for this journey and so monday we started off with day one if you missed day one make sure you go back and watch that you could just scroll down my timeline we talked about i am success really like that declaration we talked about how you get to define your own success and when you do that you don't have to get validation from anybody else when you define your own success so that was day one day two another powerful powerful one we talked about i am wisdom that was a good one we talked about how we don't focus on our failures we don't focus on the things we didn't plan. We use those as learning moments, teachable moments, and that gives us wisdom. So two powerful declarations already. We're on day three. And I titled this live video, <clears throat> excuse me, don't be scared. I don't want you guys to be scared. Don't be scared. Because guess what? I am confident. That's the declaration for today. I am confident. So if you're watching this live, I want you to put in the chat. I am confident. Even on the replay as you're watching it. I am confident. And I'm going to break that down a little bit for you. Confident. I am confident. Confident can mean boldness, courageous, right? Positive, fearless. So you're all of that when you say, I am confident. Sometimes you have to break words down to get their meaning. You know, I am bold, I am positive, I am fearless, I'm courageous, I am confident. I love that I'm confident. It even sounds good when it rolls off your tongue. I am confident. So that's our day three declaration. I want you to write it down, put it wherever you need to put it. 
on your refrigerator, in your bathroom, on your bedroom, in your bedroom, in your car, at work, wherever you are. Put up the declaration, remind yourself that I am confident. I am bold, I'm courageous, I'm positive, I'm fearless. It's all the same, right? It's all the same. And I want to break down confidence a little further. We always talk about boosting confidence and increasing your confidence. Y'all want to know the secret to that? If I can get somebody to put a one in the chat, I'll tell y'all the secret. I'll tell you the secret to building your confidence. And so I want you guys to follow me in the weeks to come. I'm going to be talking about barriers to your greatness. I'm going to be talking about why it's important to overcome self-doubt. So make sure that you're following me. Make sure you have your notifications on. I'm going to be breaking that down uh, in the weeks to come. Because here's the thing about self-doubt and why you want to overcome it. I'm just going to give you a few little nuggets. When you overcome that self-doubt, self-doubt is insecurities. Uh, it's that negative self-talk. It's that negative uh, self-critical thinking. It's the negative way that you think about yourself. When you overcome that, your perspective is going to change. Did y'all catch that? Your perspective is going to change. How you see things are going to change. You're not going to see things through the eyes of somebody who's scared or timid or insecure. Did y'all catch that? Your perspective and how you see things change when you overcome self-doubt. And so that's one reason why you want to overcome self-doubt. Also. When you overcome self-doubt, you're going to react different. When things happen, you're going to react differently. Because once again, keep in mind that self-doubt, those insecurities, that's all camouflage. That's, that's all that is, is hiding a deeper issue. That's all it is. And so when you unmask that, when you reveal that, when you address that and you overcome it, guess what? You're going to react to situations and circumstances differently. That's powerful, guys. Think about that. Another thing happens when you overcome self-doubt. When you finally make a decision to overcome self-doubt, guess what? Guess what? Opportunities. You're going to see your opportunities difference, guys. You're going to be able to see opportunities. Because once again, like I said, that self-doubt, the insecurities, the perfectionism, the procrastination, it's all tied in together. The low self-esteem, the negative self-talk, whatever you want to call it. It camouflages your, at, your reaction to things, it camouflages your ability to see true opportunities because this is what happens. When an opportunity presents itself, first thing you say, I'm not smart enough. Or you say, I can't do this. There's no way I can do this. All the negative critical thinking starts to rise up to the top. So you disrecord the opportunity. You don't even see it as an opportunity because that self-doubt has taken over you. That's what I'm saying, guys. That's why it's so important to overcome self-doubt. So those were three nuggets that I gave you right off the bat about why you need to overcome self-doubt. Like I said, I'm going to be talking about that more in the weeks to come. We are talking about our greatness all this month because I see the greatness in you guys. I hope you see it in yourself. I hope you see it in yourself. And this week is really just freedom week. We're freeing ourselves from self-doubt, giving you a preview of my ebook, 
Stepping into your greatness, 31 declarations for your journey to greatness. If you don't have it, you got to get it. If you're ready to get, regain inner strength or if you're ready to reconnect with yourself, reconnect with God, if you're ready to boost your confidence, this is going to be the ebook for you. And I just told you why you need to overcome self-doubt. You're missing opportunities. You need to change your perspective. And you need to react to, to, to things differently. So that's why you need to overcome self-doubt. And so, guys, I appreciate you watching tonight. I am so excited about you overcoming self-doubt. I am excited about you stepping into your greatness. Make sure that you are following me on this page. This is my personal page. Make sure you turn your notifications on. Also, if you are a career-minded, an ambitious career-minded woman who is ready to come over self-doubt, ready to step into your greatness and find a fulfilling career, I invite you to join me in my amazing Facebook group, Women Stepping Into Their Greatness. You can just click the link above this video and it's going to take you right to the group. Also, if you need career planning guidance, you're looking for career planning resources, make sure you're following me on my business page at Maximize Career Potential so that you can see all of the resources that I provide that can help you find a fulfilling career. And for those of you that don't know who I am, I am Shalonda Patrice. I am the adult guidance counselor. I help career minded women overcome self-doubt step into their greatness and find a fulfilling career so i will see you guys tomorrow i know tomorrow is fourth of july i want you guys to be safe i may come on a little bit earlier uh, because it is a holiday and i know most of you will be with your families so I may come on a little bit earlier but i will post and let you know when i am going live and just make sure you have your notifications on if you have any comments or questions you can feel free to put them in the chat right now. If not, if you're on the replay, feel free to put your comments and questions in as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have an amazing night. Bye-bye.